Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday and welcome back to the weekly vlog. I am going in to get my nails done this morning. I haven't had my nails done, what's going on with this piece of hair? <laughs> haven't had my nails done in so long. It's like five or six weeks, maybe five weeks and they've all like kind of fallen off because they were just like hanging on by a thread. I don't know what happened or why I didn't go to my nail appointment three weeks after I was supposed to. Like I feel like I was away or I don't know. So I am very much looking forward to getting them done today. I'm gonna get short white ones. I don't know why, I just really want white nails. Every time I get white nails, Patty always says, oh, you've got Tipex on your nails. But I just, I really like the look of white nails. So I'm just gonna get them, especially when you've got a little bit of a tan. And yeah, I think this is the last time of the year I can probably get away with white nails because summer is almost coming to an end. Patty only has like two days left of holidays. We did a lot in fairness. We got a lot packed into his two weeks off, but it's been just so nice having him off and just been able to hang out and he's spending loads of time with Noah and everything. Like it's just, it's just been good. One of my followers actually asked me in um, my last vlog, I think it was, if I was still doing makeup content. Probably by the time this vlog goes up, there will be makeup content on my channel. But yes, I am still doing makeup content. I mean, I just gave birth over two months ago, so I'm still kind of getting into the rhythm of, you know, uploading and the vlogs are just the handiest at the moment. So apologies for the lack of makeup content but like that. It's just been really, really hard to sit down and film a video, um, getting into the mood of trying makeup and stuff, but I am back in the swing of it. So I have like two Charlotte Tilbury videos to upload for you guys. I have the Aldi one, which is probably up already. I have a foundation review or a flashback review of like a foundation that I used to love and just reviewing it again. And then I also have the Essence and Catrice makeup products that I've asked you guys if you wanna see a video on them, I can film that. So I have a couple of makeup coming, makeup tutorials coming up. Somebody wants to see the Wild West palette from Urban Decay. I can 100% film a tutorial on that. I just didn't know if that was irrelevant because I think the palette is about five months old maybe. So I didn't think that maybe you guys would want to see it, but I will 100% film that if that's something you're interested in. Do let me know what kind of content you want to see on my channel and I'll get on to it. I'm still interested in film makeup content. I don't know if you guys are still interested in watching it, but there still will be vlogs and kind of like different chatty videos and lifestyle videos. It's not all going to be like makeup. Obviously you evolve and you change over time and like I'm going to include everything that I like into my channel and that includes makeup. I picked us up pancakes for lunch. Right, I made them. <laughs> really, really healthy. You did not make them. I'm just home and these are my new nails. I'm super excited to have nails again. Um, I just went with white. That's what I wanted, basic short nails. And I am gonna sit down, have my pancakes for lunch and watch some Home and Away. I've been watching The Hills, I was talking about that in my last vlog as well. So I'm like nearly finished the series. Like I've flown through it. Like I just have it on the background for some light entertainment. Noah is swinging away. <laughs> He's in his jammies today. We didn't get you dressed because it's a wet, miserable, horrible day. So we're having a jammy day, aren't we? We're having a jammy day. And he's just in his swing. I have to actually button him into it, but I'm sitting in the same room with him. Now, so he's all stitched in there, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You get so excited. Yes, you do. Yeah, you're going to smile for mummy. Well, I'm gonna have my lunch, and you've just had yours, so I'm going to pick you up then afterwards. So you're just gonna to have to stay in the swing for a few minutes. Yes? Yes? Oh, God bless this. That's okay. Super excited for my pancakes. They look so delicious. Up? Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, hump day. Yeah, it's hump day, it's Wednesday. I was like, what the hell day of the week it is. I am gonna fill in my eyebrows this morning because they are gone so light, so I'm using the Tattoo Brow from Maybelline. I've had this so long and I use it all the time. It literally lasts forever. It like turns them into like a tattoo and then you just peel them off. 
I'm also putting away a couple of bits and pieces I picked up for the last few days and I just am not feeling great today because I just got my period and I'm just really floored. I feel like since I've had Noah, my periods have been really strong. Like they've just been like knocking me out. I've been super tired with them, really PMSy, and they've just been a little bit much. I have this Nivea, the micellar water. I just picked a bottle of this up. I absolutely love this. This is definitely my favourite micellar water around. I don't know if I showed you the two legit mascara that I got in Aldi the other day. And this looks exactly like the They're Real, even the name, like, too legit. Bottle is exactly like the They're Real, I mean, to a T. Like, could you get any closer to the real thing? And even the wand is the same. I honestly don't know how they get away with this. It's so good. And that Aldi video should be up by now. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Definitely leave a comment on it. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video as well. Then Alter Ego sent me out two new palettes. So I can't wait for you guys to see them. I haven't even seen them yet myself. So we have the Luster palette and the Shadow Kiss palette. And I haven't tried an Alter Ego palette in a while. But you guys know that I am pretty obsessed with them. Uh, this is what they look like. So this is the Shadow Kiss and this is the Luster Charm. They're both quite cool tones. I really like this one because I don't have very many cool undertone palettes in my collection. I think I have the Fox one. What the hell was that called from Colourpop? But nothing else. Is this a dupe for the Natasha Denona one of those palettes? I'm not really sure. If it is, can some of you guys let me know? Because I'm not really sure which one and I've kind of like fallen off the whole radar of makeup at the moment. I'm just trying to get back into like reviewing makeup and looking up different makeup products so I'm not really sure and then the luster charm is that a dupe for anything does anybody recognize something that might look like this they're very cute palettes I like the look of them okay, it fills in my brows they look scary dark right now so I'm just gonna peel them off because they've been So they're so simple to like do. I love this product. I've used this for years and years, but I think TikTok's making it have a comeback. Um, but yeah, it's such a good product. Mm. Anyway, so my eyebrows are a little bit darker and I'm just going to, well, I'm not going to do anything with them now today, but tomorrow I'll just, if I'm putting on a bit of makeup, I'll just run some soap through my brows and then they'll look a lot better but yeah it, it, brows just make your face i need to actually book an appointment to get my brows laminated i actually might do that right now i have a box of my favorite fiber one birthday cake squares oh my god they're so good and i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea in the one where i become a mummy mug i'm just waiting for this to boil Just what I wanted. Perfect. <laughs> Noah is going down for a sleep. He's sleeping so much better since the weather has gotten cooler. He just really does not like the warm weather. I got sent out a couple of lipsticks from Bare Minerals and then I'm putting away those stick foundations from Lancome. So I just thought I would show you the lipsticks I got sent. So today is obviously Thursday 29th of July and it is National Lipstick Day and Bare Minerals sent me out two of their lipsticks. They sent me out the shade Grace and the shade Energy which I absolutely love these lipsticks. I am going to do a full swatch video on these lipsticks because I have so many in my collection. I think I have about 12 and the colour Insight is my favourite like so many of you guys have bought it because I've recommended it and worn it in videos and I've gotten like DMs and stuff but people have been like, it's like my favourite lipstick. They are such good quality lipsticks. So I think I actually will do a swatch video on them. I don't know if you can see them properly, but that's Grace and Energy. It's really hard to see them in this lighting, but they're so gorgeous. This it, Grace is kind of like a nudie pink and Energy is like a bright blood red. It's so pretty. I really, really, really can't wait to do the swatch video on them because I think that the colours are gorgeous and the formula is one of the best lipstick formulas I've used in forever. Like, it's so good. These are loads of the other shades that I have. It's not about focus. You can kind of see the colours on the bottom there. But I want to do, like I said, a full swatch video on all of them because there's so many pretty colours. I just never really kind of reviewed them before and... I actually don't realise how much I wear them. Like, they're so nice. And like I said, I have other ones in my collection and stuff. But these are just some of the colours. They're so pretty. 
Balance is another colour I wear quite a lot. You can kind of see it's like a really warm brown shade. Um, well, nudie brown. And I absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous colour. And then inside is my absolute favourite, which I think I've used that nearly all up at this stage. Like, it's so gorgeous. These are the Lancome, the Ultra Wear Sticks. And I have three shades here and then a blush and a highlight shade. So they're supposed to be obviously a foundation stick like, that makes it really quick to apply. They're supposed to be transfer resistant, smudge resistant, non-comedogenic, suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skins. And then they claim to be claim to be mattifying, comfortable, adaptable, and versatile. So I can't wait to give these a go. They're the prices of them all. I have three shades here, beige, buff and bisque. They all kind of have a neutral undertone. I think bisque is going to match me the most. That's the one on the far right. And then maybe beige in the middle will match me when I am not as deep, you know, from, from been tanned. So I am looking forward to giving these a go. I have this brush in the other end, which looks like this. It's really soft. I personally wouldn't use this to apply my foundation or to kind of blend it in or anything like that but I can see how convenient that would be if you're on the go. This feels really nice. <laughs> I'll do my wear test on them so you guys can see what they look like. And then these are the blush and the highlighter so I have Wild Ruby and Vibrant Lilac. So there they are on the skin. The Vibrant Lilac is a really nice kind of shimmery. It's a little bit too pale for me. And then the Wild Ruby ruby is um quite pigmented i've noticed that they dry quite quickly so you may need to work with these products fast just out of the shower guys i was washing my hair and i just keep forgetting how long of a process it is to wash my hair these days because of the extension and i had just purchased some of the red kin shampoo and conditioner and it's so my hair like again i forgot how good that shampoo and conditioner is just hey guys epic. how are you happy friday i've just come back from the doctor with noah because he has this little cough um and he's a little bit chesty and wheezy so i just was uh, just been on the safe side brought him to the doctor but he's actually like he's okay i just have to use humidifier to try and break up all the phlegm and stuff they do not give an antibiotic here in ireland to babies under six months she said unless it's in severe cases and obviously he's not severe so thankfully he doesn't have to go on antibiotics so i was like my worst nightmare having to put him on an antibiotic and trying to get it into him. So while he's sleeping, I am going to try and film a video today. Um, my mum is going to keep an eye on him anyway. She's in the kitchen doing bits and bobs and he's asleep in the kitchen. He fell asleep in the car seat so I just moved him into his buggy. Um, so hopefully he'll sleep while I'm doing a little bit of work. But if I don't get it done, sure so be it. I just said that out of an off chance while he's sleeping, I'll try and do this. I think I'm gonna do an Essence video today because I have a lot of Essence products that I wanna try out and um, that got sent to me and I showed you them in my last vlog and you guys said you wanted to see a review so I said I will do that today. I also need to try and edit a couple of videos and stuff like that but I don't think I'm gonna get to do any of that but if I can get to film my essence video today and maybe a favorites will be will be elected so we'll see how we get on anyway i hope you guys are having a fabulous friday what are you guys up to for the weekend are you doing anything interesting by the time you see this it'll probably be next weekend so let me know what you're doing this weekend i was actually reading through one of the comments and one of the girls was saying to me that i have this like little pigmentation thing from being pregnant you can kind of see it up here and here it's over my lip i never even knew that, knew that i had it or noticed that i had it during pregnancy finished doing a video on the where the hell's it gone sit down here on the essence foundation not that i finished it i just did the initial start i went down to noah and then i said i'd come back up here and do my first check-in so that's what i've just done there now and now i'm gonna go back down and get something to eat because i'm starving He's just fed and he is in good form. I'm gonna put on a movie and chill out with him. If I can edit, I will. If not, I'll just get to it tomorrow or something. I did a favorites video as well and then an essence video. Like I did three videos today. That is like so good in an hour and a half because I just sat down, focused, filmed, and then like, you know, just got to the point instead of sitting here rambling on and then like taking forever to do my makeup. Like now everything needs to be done like very rapid. Like there's no kind of chill anymore. It's like get everything done, dusted rapidly and get back to the baby. But I feel 
really good that I got some content filmed and I just feel so much better that I'm actually getting my content like we're back to kind of the way I was before it's definitely slowed down my momentum of her filming because I'm like constantly have my mind on Noah and to make sure that he's okay and to get back to him as soon as possible but like like I said he's fine so I'm gonna go down to him and uh, yeah we're gonna chill together for a little while um I'll see what I can get edited if I can get anything edited and um yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm just doing another foundation check-in and we're gonna order some takeout tonight. I'm so excited, I haven't had takeout in ages, so I think I'm going to get either an Indian, oh, my nose is itchy, or Chinese. I don't want pizza tonight, so I'm not really sure. I'm kind of thinking maybe Thai. You know when you're starving, everything sounds good, but I am thinking that I wanna get like teriyaki chicken or something like that with some rice, that would be nice. I had salmon and rice last night. It was the most delicious dinner I've had in ages. I haven't had salmon in like two weeks maybe. I try and eat salmon at least once a week or any sort of oily fish once a week. I am going to finish editing last week's vlog. I'm nearly halfway through it. There is so much footage, it's over an hour. I was like, how did I talk for so long? This week's vlog is gonna be a little bit more boring because there's not really that much going on. I don't think I've done much this week really to be fair just with Noah kind of been a bit under the weather I haven't gone anywhere and I haven't seen anyone so <laughs> I've just been like keeping it to myself so yeah this week's vlog is gonna be a bit of a drag I hope you guys still enjoy it though just pause that for a sec I'm watching Family Guy we are going to the zoo today with baby Noah I know he's gonna have absolutely no recollection of going to the zoo or any clue of what's going on but we're just all going out like as a family so Paddy's parents his brothers his brother's girlfriend are all going to the zoo with Noah just like for a little walk around look at the animals and stuff I have I haven't been to the zoo in, I don't know, I think the last time I was there I was 12, <laughs> well, well over 15 years ago, it's been a very long time, so what we're going to do is just get ready and go spend the day there where you are booked in for half one. Then I think we're going out for dinner, I'm not really sure because it was Paddy's brother's birthday yesterday so we might be going out for dinner but it's hard to kind of get bookings oh good news I'm also getting my vaccine next week which is great so I'll get my first vaccine next week I am going to my friend's hen party this weekend down in Kilkenny she's been my friend since we were two years of age so I cannot miss that it's not like a trek or anything it's just it is a bit of a distance away and I'm going on my own it's the first time I'm on my own without Noah for the night because the other two times I was away from him for the night I was with Paddy so it wasn't that bad but now I'm just completely on my own so we'll see how we get on because I'm getting really kind of like don't want to leave him for too long and even when I go and do stuff I just want to get back to him I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm like that I've no idea I uploaded my last vlog yesterday or last week's vlog yesterday so like I said today will be the last day of this vlog and then I'll start my new vlog tomorrow because I don't even know if I have much content in this we went playing foot golf yesterday and I forgot to bring my camera but to be fair I had so much fun it got lost in the day and I just didn't vlog there was about 10 of us so we went with like some of our really close friends who I haven't seen in a while which was nice just hang out with them it went on for like two hours it was really good fun though we went to it in Tala I think it's just called foot tea um, if you want to go to it, I highly recommend it. It's great just for a day out. Yes, yeah, so we did it last year, but we did it again yesterday and I just had so much fun. Look at the pile of clothes. I'm like, I don't know, everywhere I go, there's like piles of clothes that just follow me or just that I just forget to fold everything up or throw it there at night. <laughs> oh, so I need to clean that up right now. So I will talk to you when we're at the zoo. Oh, it's first day in the zoo. You're going to see the monkeys. Are you getting on there? <laughs> With the baby. Still looking at the piggies. <laughs> Are you getting on? I think so. What's in here? <laughs> little, little, little. Can you like the walk around here? I have not been to the zoo in about 15 years. And you don't, you don't, now you don't want to see now. <laughs> No, it's given out. And actually, the only thing that I'm finding, like, well, that I really, really like is the walk. It's a really nice walk around here. It's in all the walkways, they're all overgrown. It's lovely. It's... Oh, oh. Always no, out. it's fussing. Might put him in the buggy, I think. Maybe. <laughs> He's fine. Out for his day out. It's very interesting. Oh, hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Oh, you oh my god, he's so nice. Look at his markings. Yes. You're a lovely boy. Or girl, I'm not sure. That's him. The old cap bee. I've actually never heard them and I've never seen them. They're the giraffe and zebra were right, Laura. Were they? Oh no, we said the horses and zebra. Yeah. They're closely related to giraffes. <laughs> so, so the zebra somehow got, got on top of a giraffe or giraffes <laughs> on top of a zebra? They're related to giraffes, not yes, zebras. Yes, Paddy. Yeah. Good God. They're so cool. Look, so there he is. That's Pumba. They are, not they? They're so cute. Look how happy they are going around. Looking for trouble. Yeah, look at them. Cool. Wow, look at him. You can do it. I'll give you a cat. He's going up. What? Yeah. Wow, he's so cool. These are so cute. You know, there's the monkeys over there. Way over there. Way, 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 way over there. Are they? The chimpanzees. The chimpanzees. Chimpanzees. None of our indoor areas are open. They don't look like they're going anywhere. They look very chilled there. Sometimes also for the males, uh, they even have to be separated from them because the, the, at the start, the moms can be quite protective of the babies. So, so there's a lot of positives and all that. There's an ostrich. They do get brought in underneath the section there for them to go in. So yeah, and now certain animals that can use their Are they still doing it up? That's so cool. The bottom of the sperm whale's jaw. That's nasty. He's a fat ass. Look at that fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had Noah strapped to your front earlier. Oh, look how cute he was. Look at the road, boy. Oh, baby. Look at this smock. Yes, he does, isn't yeah. he? Thank you. So we're nearly at the end of the trail. It started raining as well, of course, typical. So my hair is like a frizzy mess. And Noah has slept the whole way around. But I mean, I don't expect anything else from an 11 week old that he would sleep the entire time walking around here. Uh, we're going to Smithfield after this to a restaurant called Oscars. Um, so I think that's basically all I'm going to talk to you or show you today. So I will end today's vlog or this week's vlog and I will talk to you in my next vlog. Bye guys.